Hi everyone, it's Ashley. Um, this is something new I'd like to try. It's kind of on my off weeks of my bi-weekly uh, pregnancy updates. I thought I might do some gender prediction videos. So this week I'm going to do um, some old wives tales. I have a list of different things, <laughs> whether it's a boy or a girl, and I have this to keep track. So, um, we have, the first one is heart rate. Um, a below 140 um, is supposed to be a boy, and above 140 is supposed to be a girl. Um, every time the heartbeat's ever checked, it's usually in the mid-50s to mid-60s. So that would be one for the girls. Uh, let's see, belly shape, either low and small or big and high. Um, I don't know if this applies, like, I've had a baby before, uh, and with my son I really didn't look pregnant, and it was probably because I was a lot heavier, but for this one I am carrying very high, um, so I have like almost like a B-shaped bump. It's really annoying. Um, so I would say that's quite high and big, unfortunately. So that's another for a girl. Um, acne. Not, none or very little acne is supposed to be for a boy. And lots of acne is supposed to be for a girl. And I, thankfully, um, I, I do remember having a few more pimples than I'm usually used to, uh, but for a long time I haven't had any, so, which is a, not unusual for me. I generally don't have a lot of acne, so that's one for the boy. Uh, cravings, either salty for a boy or sweet for a girl. I crave both. Is that, like, possible? <laughs> Uh, I do crave a lot of salt, though. Um, I really want chips a lot, um, things like that. So we'll say that's boy. <sighs> this one I thought was really funny. Um, at the time of conception, who was the more aggressive person? <laughs> and that coordinates to if it's a boy or a girl. No, Lily. No, I'm not going to let you do that. Sorry, my cat. Um, considering <laughs> um, I was on Clomid and we were really trying, I'm probably going to assume it was me, considering I knew when and what was going on. <laughs> so I'll put that as a girl. Uh, dreams. It says, the shows the opposite of what you are having. Uh, so if you dream of a boy, you're having a girl. Uh, dream of a girl, you're having a boy. Uh, with my son, I can only remember having one dream of, like, an actual baby being in it. And it was a girl. And I thought he was a girl. <laughs> and obviously he's not. Um, this pregnancy I've had, I think, like, one or two dreams. I can only really, right this second, I can only remember one. And it was a be about a boy. So that would be... A girl. <sighs> Are you clumsy or grateful? Uh, grateful. Graceful. Uh, clumsy for a boy and graceful for a girl. In life, I'm just generally clumsy. So I don't think that that's changed <laughs> at any point. So let's boy. More uh, the mom's resting side, whether you like to... If you like to rest on your left, it's a boy. If you like to rest on your right, it's a girl. I enjoy resting on both sides. Uh, but I do... I'm trying to, think of, <laughs> trying to think of my sleeping position. I generally like to face the outside of the bed, and that would be the right side. Uh, my right. So, um, that would be girl. And morning sickness. Um... I just realized I did nine of them, so that wouldn't be a tie. Woohoo! <laughs> Go me. 
um, morning sickness, none for a boy and lots for a girl. And I'm thankful I've never experienced any type of morning sickness with any of my pregnancies. So that would be a boy. So the totals are... Five for a girl and four for boys. <sighs> I don't know. We'll see. Um, that is it. I don't, I'm not sure what the next one I'm going to do is, but I have two weeks to think about it, don't I? So I'll see you then. Bye.